Alrighty, so another quick tutorial, thought I'd do a double whammy tonight. Um, what we're going to be implementing is a zoom on our virtual camera. So um, one of my previous tutorials we did uh, sort of flicking through a set of prime lenses, but obviously some people like the flexibility I guess. Uh, it's really personal preference, but uh, we'll be looking at sort of how to make a zoom instead of uh, sort of just a scroll through a set pre... A pre a set of predefined lenses. Um, so to start this one off, we are going to add an input action again. It's uh, my favorite thing to do, apparently. Um, this one, we want an axis mapping. Um, so you can set this to anything. I've set it to the thumbstick um, on my gamepad. But if you wanted to set it to, uh, I've used the Oculus Rift's thumbstick. So like the, uh, the Y direction on the thumbstick to do it. You know, um, you can do, if you want to do keys or buttons, um, then you can. However, to do buttons, you have to add two. So if we wanted to do, say, the keyboard as an example, um, oh, not gamepad, come on, here we go. Uh, keyboard as example, and let's say one and two on the keyboard, we have to add, you have to add both like this and two. Um, and then on the sort of zoom out one, you have to hit, you have to change it to negative one scale. That That's the only uh, sort of uh, thing you need to remember if you're doing buttons like that. So next we're going to go to our blueprint uh, and we're going to call our action, which I called zoom. Here we go. And so that'll return us this axis uh, event. And so the, um, the execution node on this works like an event tick, it just constantly happens. And then this value that comes out of it is sort of how far forward or back the thumbstick is. So uh, in the case of the keys, it's either going to be 0 or 1 because it's either pushed or it's not. But on the uh, on like a thumbstick, you know, you can sort of push it slowly and you'll get like 0.5 and that sort of thing. Uh, and so what we are going to do is... So first we need to, oh, I've accidentally already got it here. We need to create a new float variable um, called current zoom, or you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it current zoom. Um, and so we're sort of going to be storing this value and that's going to help us. So what we need to do is we need to get the current zoom like that, and that's going to come in handy. Um, so first of all, we need to do a float plus a float. So what we want to do is we want to get the current zoom and we want to add whatever our axis input is, whether it be a positive or a negative value, to our current zoom. That way we can zoom in or zoom out. Obviously, we then want a, uh, we want our current zoom, oh, and we want to set it, and we want to set that as our new current zoom. Um, and so we'll hook the execution up like that. Um, and then if I hit, um, uh, so then we add a set set current focal length set current oh, another spelt wrong set current here we go set current focal length uh, and so we want our focal length um, oh you need to get it from this node not from this node because this node this one returns this uh, sort of returns the value we set not its current value so we want it sort of its previous value if that makes any sense at all um, like that and so we then hit in there and then lastly we get a reference to our cine camera and add it in there and so that does work but uh, it has an issue with it um, so if we try it we can just zoom in and zoom out but uh, this sort of has the problem of being infinite. I can zoom in forever and ever and ever. And that is something you might want, but uh, as you can see, it takes forever to zoom back out again. So uh, there is some other things we can do for that. Um, so what we want to do is we want to first get a what's called an in-range node uh, for the float. And so we want to get our current zoom and check whether it is or isn't inside a uh, range. Um, and so in the min and max, you want to set your um, sort of minimum and maximum focal length. So I'm going to go 12 to 200 mil. 
don't think I've ever seen a lens in real life that is 12 to 200, but uh, that's the power of Unreal, I guess. Um, and so that will return a Boolean, so yes or a no. So is it or isn't it within that value range? Um, and then we simply add a branch node. Branch, branch. Um, and that is the condition, and we're going to go from our set to here, and then so if it is in the value, then we want to update our focal length. If it isn't in the value, we don't want to update our focal length. And so what that'll do is sort of give us a hard limit, and it'll stop. Zoom out, and it'll stop. The other problem is, if you notice, if you keep zooming out, even though it's stopped, and then try and zoom in, it actually takes, I'm zooming in right now, it takes forever to get back to the minimum because even though we've stopped zooming we're still setting this float we're still taking sort of um, you know we're still lowering this float number or raising this float number so there is a way around that uh, what we're going to need is another branch 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 come on there we go uh, and so we're gonna plug the false into it like that and then what we're going to do is use a equals to or greater than, uh, which is that way, greater than or equals to, ooh. greater than or greater than or equals to float float. All right, and what we want to see is is the current zoom greater than or equal to two hundred millimeters. And what we also need is two sets, set and set. Um, so if the current zoom is greater or equal to 200 mil, then we want to set it to 200 mil. So that seems sort of like backwards thinking a bit, but what this will essentially do is it'll keep going through and keep the current zoom at 200 no matter how long we hold the sort of zoom in button. We'll zoom in um, and if it's false then we want to set it to 12 mil so so remember it's only going to execute this node if it is outside of this range so it's not going to over sort of override our um, our regular lens settings um, and so just like that so if we follow it through so we get our current zoom we add onto it whatever the value of the input is. We set that as our new current zoom. We then check if our new current zoom is within these values. If it is, then we set our the zoom of the camera to our, that. Um, but if it isn't, then we go down to here and we say, is it greater than 200? If so, set it back to 200. Is it less than 200? Then set, uh, sorry, is it less than 12? Then set it to 12. So if we compile and save, now we can zoom in just like that and we've hit the limit and then I can immediately start zooming out. Same thing, zoom out, I'm still holding it down, let go, I can immediately zoom back in. There's like a, a sort of a pull back on my, bounce back on my controller, but just like that. So now we've hit the limit and then we can immediately start zooming back out again. And so if we couple it with our lens focus, no, the autofocus, that's it, that we did in the last, uh, whoops, tutorial, the quick one, then, you know, we can do some, we've got a pretty complete camera here. Um, and obviously with the zoom, uh, unlike the sort of primes, we can do some dolly zooms. Sort of a bit of Hitchcock there. All right, awesome.